A retired military working dog living in Las Cruces is one of eight finalists to win this year's American Hero Dog Award. Meet Bino. The Dutch Shepherd is enjoying retired life with his owner, Debbie Candle. He had dog paws on the hot sands of Iraq while he protected and defended. To paraphrase the words of JFK, ask not what your military working dog can do for you because they've already done for you their whole life. Ask what you can do for your military working dog to make their retirement and their last days as comfortable as possible. Candle owns two retired military working dogs and started a military working dog adoptions website two years ago when she says she learned of flaws in the military dog adoption system. Up until President Bill Clinton signed a bill in the year 2000, all military working dogs were euthanized after their service. However, now all the dogs are adopted. Candle says her website is a resource to match the retired dogs with appropriate owners, and her site also raises money to help pay for any medical costs the dogs may have. Any military working dogs who have medical expenses, um, most of the public does not realize that when they're retired, they have no medical benefits whatsoever. In other words, the, medic, the onus of the medical upkeep falls upon the adopter. And sometimes that can be quite expensive because the reason they're retiring these dogs would be due to either age or medical issues or both. Luckily, 13-year-old Bino is healthy, and he started serving soldiers in another way. He delights out of helping his soldiers. And it takes a soldier, he is a four-footed soldier, he knows his two-footed soldiers, and when we even go to visit at Fort Bliss and he sees folks in uniform, he just lights up. So we, we go as a team and we help the soldier and the new service dog learn all the do's and don'ts. Bino and Candle help train new service dogs paired with soldiers who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder or brain injuries, and he is now nominated nationally for Hero Dog of the Year. Candle is hopeful people will go to HeroDogAwards.org to vote for Bino. It's not about Bino, and it's not about me. It's about every military working dog, and it's about every soldier who has post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury and needs a canine, not companion, but a canine service dog to help them through the rough spots. Candle is hopeful a victory will help shed more light on what military dogs do for soldiers and also shed more light on how she says they can better be taken care of by the government after they retire. I mean, we have dogs that save thousands of lives daily. Our, our explosive detection dogs are in high demand, and it, experts estimate that each military working dog during the course of its life of service saves 150 soldier lives. Most patriotic Americans have no idea that these dogs are classified as equipment. So a military working dog is not a soldier its equipment. And therefore, we believe that it should be reclassified as MWD soldier, military working dog soldier, while it's on active duty. And then as the dog is getting ready to be retired out of the military, it then becomes excess equipment. And we are totally opposed to that nomenclature, and we think that it should be changed to MWD veteran. If you would like to vote for Bino, you can go to HeroDogAwards.org. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.